Imagine that you're a writer. You wrote a book, and this book is your book. All the rights of these books belong to you and to your editor. And nobody can copy and nobody can make any kind of money with this book without your permission. But what happens if instead of making a book for monetary reason only, we make a book in which copying and reproducing rights are unlimited? A book that can be downloaded for free, where each person can make a pull request to modify. What if this book can be also be copied in part or even in the whole and then sell it in the traditional way without you getting anything? If we think about this kind of book, it will be difficult for someone to want to be a writer because it would be difficult for them to get money out of this situation. Now imagine a company that pays its developers a very, very good salary. You want to say a very good salary is a very good salary for code every day, 40 hours per week. And this company decides that all the code that is generated in this company will be open source. All this company's software is going to end in an open repository where everyone can see, can download, copy, replicate, modify, learn, and use it. But at the same time, this code would be improved, people can help with bugs, port it to the community, use it as a reference, and many other things. Now think again. Could this company that pays developer salaries to be profitable or not? In this video, we are not going to talk about the positive or the negative of open source or the difference between free soft or open soft. We are going to present different models by which companies dedicate their efforts and their monetary resources to open source because although it sounds strange, you can also make a lot of money giving a free code to the world. We need first to learn the reasons why people use open source when developing. First one is security. This is important because there is no place to hide anything. Everything is transparent and this is the difference, transparency. But this comes with a problem too. You are explaining to all the hackers, where are your issues? Control. Like the previous point, at all times, we see what we are going to install. Stability. Since so many people in the community work in this project, more and more tests are produced and the code day by day is more stable. Community. When you share a project on the internet, you are part of a group that creates something. You are a community with people that share your ideas. Good press. Or the other way around, not having a bad press. If you don't follow the norms, many times society can look at you badly and therefore few clients will approach you. But okay, all those are beautiful points. But beauty? does not generate money, unless that you're a model. Let's see what may be the reasons why open source can generate money for a company. The first one is notoriety. It is clear that the more people use your repositories and the more people want to use your code, the name of your company will be in everyone's mouth. And this is very difficult advertisement to pay for. Everyone these days use Terraform, for example. And I think almost everyone knows Hasicorp. Hasicorp now is a multi-million company with four open source products and every year is growing more and more. Second one is fame. And this is related to the previous step. As many people know you and more and more people use your application or your code, your company will start to be more famous. And this is always bringing money. WhatsApp is a very good example of fame. Okay, but not an open source example. This company was famous worldwide because it was a free, good chat. And one day Facebook spent 16 billion buying this company. The third point is support and services. And this is a great way to get money. We have to think that Red Hat Linux and OpenSafe Red Hat are open source products. All Hasif Cop applications are open source code. Oracle with Java and MySQL are open source. Redis is open source, OpenStack is open source, Apache, Adobe, some Microsoft components, Linux, GitLab, Hadoop, Apache Spark, and I can name in products for hours. And all those products are associated with companies and they all make millions selling services and support. The idea is simple. I offer a candy for free. And you, you love candies. But the candy is with sugar and you need to go to the dentist. And this is where I'm going to generate money, because I am the dentist. This is a metaphor, by the way. But you use my product and your company needs to have support because you cannot have downtime. 
The fourth point is licensing. And this is where another interesting part comes in. The license. You can download many applications, but for example, until you have paid the license, the application will not work for you. Or maybe not completely. Another way to do that is like, for example, Hazircom is doing with the enterprise version. You can download open source version, but support is coming with an enterprise version. The next point is updates in the code or changes for licenses. All of us know Red Hat and the licensing model that they have. You pay for every license that allows you to update your machine daily and avoid all the security issues every day appears. In the end, since that hackers are good for companies, they find issues that, for example, Red Hat leave in the code. Red Hat fix these issues and the customer pay for a solution that they never generated. <laughs> this is a crazy word, but it's working. And the last point is the possibility of finding new clients. Let's think that you are a service company and you have an application that is capable of locating in Kubernetes all the pods that have started without having to be up. This is maybe not useful for many, many companies, but it would at least prove to your customers that your company know about Kubernetes and that is capable of working in teams and developing tools. Maybe there are many other ways to generate money with open source and you are free to add in the comments. But as you can see, open source can be great indirect way to generate money. Remember that all the articles that are written for free are to generate fame to the writer or business to the page that present them. Check this video, you are here and now you know that NKDEF is in the planet Earth. Now you know that we in NKDEF offer cloud services to our customers in AWS, GCP and Kubernetes. And this is publicity and it was for free too. So thank you for watching this video. Click on like and please follow us.